What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to do a quick rundown on how to activate DLSS 4 on your older NVIDIA graphics cards. I mean, this will also work on the 5000 series if you're lucky enough to get one of those, but this will force any game that is compatible with DLSS 4 to use the latest transformer model, which can improve performance based on how you set up your settings. And I'll show you guys how to set that up later in the video. And I'm going to show you guys two different methods to enable DLSS 4. One legitimately through the NVIDIA app, which doesn't always work. That's why I'm doing this video to try to help you guys out. And a second method that uses some tools off of GitHub to easily force your games to use the DLSS 4 transformer model. So first things first, we want to navigate to this page here. This is a compatibility page. It lists all the games and it'll show you all the different features that are compatible with the new DLSS 4. So as you can see at the top list here, DLSS multi frame generation, DLSS frame generation, DLSS super resolution, DLSS ray reconstruction, DLAA, ray tracing and AI. So what this means, it's showing you which games are compatible and it gives you a little rundown right here. So in the table, if it shows a checkbox, that game has native support for DLSS, which typically means that it has application settings within the game itself. If it shows this checkbox and then an NV next to it, this means that you'll have to use the NVIDIA app to override it or some of the tools I'm gonna to show you guys later in the video. So running down this list here, you can go and try to find some of your games you have. In this video today, I'm going to be going over Red Dead Redemption. However, I wanted to show you guys an example of what some of these kind of look like. So for example, in Cyberpunk, it has full in-game compatibility across the board for everything. You can actually go and tweak all of those settings within the game. Now, a lot of games haven't been updated yet, and that is what we're trying to achieve today to enable the LSS 4 and an app that needs an override. So here we are, Red Dead Redemption 2, and it says checkbox NV. So if we go back up to the top here, that is DLSS Super Resolution Override for the NV designation. So launching the NVIDIA app, there's a couple things we want to keep in mind. First, you need the new NVIDIA app. That's this one here. They just revamped it. Second, you're going to need to install the latest GeForce game ready drivers for your graphics card. And the next thing is, if any of these games are saying it can't receive the information, you'll probably have to uninstall the NVIDIA app and then reinstall it. Because for whatever reason, I had this problem earlier, all of my games were saying essentially unsupported. Like even Cyberpunk was saying unsupported. Another thing you can try is to hit this refresh. Sometimes that fixes the problem for people as well. So going down to Red Dead Redemption, if we scroll down here, open up the DLSS override model presets right here, there's two things we can do. One, we could try to force these settings for all DLSS technologies. So we could change it to latest, or we could do it per setting that it's gonna let us. In this case, it's just the super resolution. So right now I have it set to latest. Typically it'll be set to use 3D application settings, which in this current state is a very old version of DLSS for Red Dead Redemption. And it's gonna show you a bunch of different preset models here. The transformer model is actually preset K and they should just say latest and then probably in like parentheses say preset K. But for some reason, it's just says latest. So latest is the preset K that we're trying to activate. And that is the transformer model. And then once you hit latest, you can go ahead and hit apply here and it should override those settings. So when I went and found my Red Dead Redemption game in the Steam apps and I went and checked the file system and I found this DLSS file, I went ahead and checked it and I went to properties and then you can go to details here and when I checked it, it still had the old version of DLSS enabled. So I was like, okay. So I didn't think it was actually working. So this is bringing us to method two to ensure that our games are going to use the latest DLSS 4 transformer model. 
what you're going to want to do, we're going to get two different applications here. We want to go and get the DLSS swapper. You can go to the releases over here and then download the latest version under assets. And then you'll also want to go ahead and get the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And this is a forked version that is revamped. The revamped version have a lot of nice quality of life features that make this process so much nicer to figure out and to tweak per game. And in this case, you'll have to just make a folder. You'll have to download the zip and make a folder. It is actually a portable app. So once you have those two installed, the first thing we're going to want to do is launch the DLSS swapper. And the DLSS swapper will scan all the games that you have on your system. So in this case, we're doing Red Dead Redemption 2, one of my Steam games here. And you can even see right here, it already knows that it has the old DLSS file installed to it. So what we can do is we can go ahead and get the latest version. So the latest version right now is 3.10.2.1. And we can hit download button and then hit this swap. So now that we've swapped that in, you can see here it says 3.10. And then we can use this nice little tool to navigate to program folder. And you can see here that it was successful because what it does is it actually backs up the old file and just puts this at the end of it, DLSS. So that's the old file there. And this is the one that it replaced. And if we go to properties and then details here, you can see it says 310.2.1.0. Now that is not the end of it, unfortunately. For some reason, even just replacing that DLL file, it's still going to activate the preset J model. So the next thing we have to do, we're going to go ahead and use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector Revamped. And then there's two different versions. There's a standard and then there's a light. I always just use the standard version. And in order to check that this is working correctly, it has a couple of registry files that we can enable or disable to allow us to see an overlay in the bottom left corner of our screen to make sure that it is loading the correct preset K profile. Prior, you would have to go navigate in your registry and go find this, and we could still go do this manually. And if you wanna check these files just to make sure they're legit, cause injecting something into your registry, you know, you gotta be careful, but this is all it's doing. It's going to this part in your registry and then adding show DLSS indicator and then adding the D word of this. But in this case, we wanna keep that overlay on so that we can test to make sure that everything is working properly. So now let's go ahead and launch the NVIDIA profile inspector. And in my case, you can do a global override, which I've seen in some other YouTube videos. I would essentially just try to globally override every single game and set it to preset K. However, I'm a little weary of doing that for competitive games like Call of Duty and Marvel Rivals. I don't want to like get banned or something. So I'm be I've been doing this on a per game basis. So I'm searching for Red Dead Redemption 2. There's already a profile here. And to ensure that it actually knows where the EXE file is, you can go ahead and hit this little button here, add application to your current profile. And then here's Red Dead Redemption EXE. If you hit open, it says this application executable is already assigned to this profile. So it does know where the game is, but if it doesn't have a profile and it doesn't have the correct game path, you can actually make your own custom profile here by hitting this little sun icon and then just typing in the name of the game and then going and find the executable file. Here in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, they have revamped this to make things more legible. So they've added like a DLSS overrides category, whereas the original NVIDIA Profile Inspector, these settings were scattered all over the place. So the ones you'll wanna change are this RR Latest DLL. You wanna click that one on. The RR Preset. So this one we want to set to latest preset and then the SR latest DLL. We want to make sure that one's turned on. And then same thing here. I've already changed this one as well, but this is the SR preset. You can either set it to this one or if you set it to preset K, it should do the same thing. But I'm just going to stick with the latest. 
And then I'm keeping everything else at like its default values here. And then we can go ahead and hit apply changes. All right, so here we are in game and you can see in the bottom left corner that it has that little overlay that we enabled with our registry. And it is showing that preset K is active and that the DLSS version is 310.2.1. So that means that it was successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable my performance overlay here. And then you can see that I'm getting about like 84 FPS and this is running at 4K resolution. And I have a pretty nice system. However, this is about the performance I was getting with DLSS 3 on balanced. So now this new DLSS4 transformer model does such a good job at retaining visual fidelity that we can now take our settings down to ultra. So if I go ahead and go into my settings real quick here, go find the DLSS. I can go ahead now and change this to the ultra performance profile. And here we are back in game. I can barely even tell a difference personally. I don't know, maybe other people will have a better eye for it. But to me, this looks amazing, if not just as good as the balance profile with the old version of DLSS. And to top it all off, now we're getting 95 FPS. So we've essentially increased our frame rate by a good 10 to 15 FPS at 4K, which, you know, I'll take that all day. That's awesome. Coming around the corner out of that little town here, now we're getting around like 100, 105. So pretty solid. And yeah, like I said, I mean, even on the ultimate performance profile, it looks just awesome. And one thing you could do, you could also just run like a performance profile if you think that it could look a little better or you're willing to sacrifice some frame rate in order to get a little bit of better visual fidelity with this new transformer model. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.